Hey guys, my name is Latasha. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back in. Today, I'm just coming in with a very quick video. I'll be showing you how to thread your machine, insert the bobbin correctly into the machine, and change your needles all on your Brother PE800. Here are the tools and supplies that you'll need. First, you need your thread. I usually like to have a pair of tweezers. You need your bobbin, a screwdriver, and you need needles. Alrighty guys, to get started, you'll just turn on your machine by pressing the, the on off button here on the side, on the right hand side of your machine. And then when it first comes on, you want to just touch the screen. And it says the carriage of the embroidery unit will move. Keep your hands, etc. away from the carriage. Just want to make sure that there's nothing around the arm because it's going to move. And it's just calibrating at this time. To replace or change your needle, you want to make sure that your needle is in the up position. If your needle is not in the up position, press the needle position button. That's this button right here. Either you press it once or twice, just to, you press it once, just it went down. And you press it another time, it's gonna raise the needle. So you wanna make sure that your needle is in an up position. Next, you wanna go around the back of your machine and then you want to raise the presser foot. You wanna take the piece of fabric and lay it over the hole that way when you take when you loosen your needle it doesn't fall down into the inside of your machine and you also want to press this button that's going to lock all the keys and functions on your machine then next you want to hold the needle with your left hand and then use a flathead screwdriver that comes with your accessory case with your machine. I'm gonna unloosen it. And it releases the needle. I'm gonna take that out. My needles, my organ needles, 7511. Flat side on the needle. And it's rounded on the front. I insert it in the machine with the flat side in the back. You slide it till it stop. And this is where I use the tweezers. I use the tweezers just to kind of hold it in place. And then here's your screwdriver. I'm turning toward the back of the machine. You want to just Tighten it up. Don't over tighten it though. And that's it. That's how you change your needle. And then you'll just go back and press this button that brings back on, um, that turns the function of your machine back on. Okay, now I'll be showing how to install your bobbin. You want to make sure that your needle is in an up position. Next, you want to press the presser foot needle exchange key on your machine. This is the button that you'll press. Next, you want to go around the back of your machine and then you want to raise the presser foot. After you raise the presser foot, you want to remove the bobbin cover. You're going to slide the latch to the right and it's going to release it. And you just put that to the side. Okay, there is a, dia a diagram here as well. It's just showing you how, the, what direction the thread should be going in when you inserted it into your machine. You want the thread to 
come off of the left side of the bobbin. I always say make sure it makes the letter P. So you have the top of the P here and then you have the leg. So it looks like a P when it's going into your machine. I'm going to insert it in your machine, making sure the tail is coming off the left of the machine. Drop it in. And you want to just follow like the diagram here. Bring the thread around here. Go back around. Close around in that groove. Come back around. And then there's a razor in there. You want to take and cut the thread. Just place your bobbin cover back on the machine. And it snaps in. Okay, next I'll be showing you how to thread your machine. You want to make sure that your machine is on. Make sure that the presser foot is in the up position. You want to make sure that the needle is also in the up position. Next, I want to go ahead and place my thread on my spool pin. You have to take your thread and lightly hold it with your right hand. Go around the one, go down, go up, round to two, down, and you'll come down to three, come down, go around. And back up. I'm going to stay on the right hand side. Go to the left. I'm going to hold it lightly up here at the top. While you're holding the thread up at the top, you'll just go behind the needle bar right here. And you'll hear it snap or click. Then, from six, you'll go over here. Thread goes in here. Goes up above the seven. Goes from six. Go here to above the seven. Then you'll pull it over to eight. It's on the side of the machine. And eight cuts the thread. After you cut the thread, you want to go back to the back of the machine and put your presser foot down. Then you want to press down the needle threader lever. You press that down, it threads the machine, and then you want to slowly release it back up. I like to use my tweezers to pull it through. Alrighty, that is it. Now that you know how to change your needle, install your bobbin, and thread your machine, you should be well on your way to a great start using your PE800. If you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. And also remember to turn on your notifications. If you're interested in the PE800 or any supplies that I've talked about in this video, I have included links down in the description box. Until next time, bye now. See you later in the next video.